influencer has been allegedly charged with breaking the internet after recent eye-popping content that was released directly on their social media platforms. More on this later. Okay, the St. Lunatics claim Nelly owes them $50 million for work they done on Country Grammar, Nelly's Diamond Selling Album, which came out back in 2000, 24 years ago. The suit alleges Nelly promised the group not only money, but credit on the album, which they never received. It wasn't until recently when the group realized Nelly was not going to come through on his promises. And facing a lawsuit from his former St. Lunatics group members, this all stems back to his breakout album, Country Grammar. The group is claiming Nelly cut them out of the credits and royalties from the album. The lawsuit alleges Nelly lied about paying the other members for their work. Country Grammar turns 25 years old next year, and at its height, the album spent five weeks on top of the Billboard's 200. Technically, when I got my deal, I was 23. I had just, you know, like 23. The record label just put it out, 20-year-old Nelly. I said, the check cleared. I don't give a 20-year-old right. Nelly. 20-year-old Nelly? 20-year-old <laughs> Nelly. I don't right. give a You know what I'm saying? They were like, no, but you look... You look like you're 20. Uh, 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 sh should I say something or should I not? But again, the check cleared. I didn't care. Wow. So they said I was 20 when I first came out. But I knew, and everybody around me and the whole right. U City knew, man, that man graduated in 93. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever, it's working. Did you ever play, the, you ever play so, in the Little League World Series? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> because I was just hoping to go gold. I'd go gold, I'd go on tour, I can make a little money. I'll open up a liquor store, car wash, yeah. laundromats, barber shop. Hood, 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 shop. Hood, hood, yeah, hood. you know what I'm saying? Like, like, store. Hey, hey, listen, hey, straight to it. Yes. Barber shop, because our group was like yeah. naturally created in a barber shop. Out of all the members of the group, the one with the lowest self esteem was Nell. Out of the group members, like Murph was Murph, you know what I'm saying? Kiwan was. Blind green king, you know, he's he, he. saying, Me, I'm just tall and the biggest. I just grow who like the tall guy. Nelly gets sued for $50 million by St. Lunatic members. So you got Nelly being sued by the rest of the St. Lunatics for $50 million, right? They claim that Nelly basically didn't pay him, right? They claim they wrote a lot of the hit songs we heard from Nelly. They claim that, you know, they were credited for the writings, but they never got paid, right? Which is a crazy situation, man. If the reports that I read is true, Nelly's filed for that, right? Them your homeboys, right? I believe they grew up together, you know what I'm saying? And now they got to sue their homie Nelly for not paying them. But the only thing I'm wondering is, why did it take this long, right? They claim Nelly kept saying he was going to pay him, woo-woo. I mean, dang, a nigga can keep saying they're going to pay you for five, ten years, and you believe in it. Now it's 2024, and you're finally suing Nelly now. I'm not saying what they're saying is, you know, not true or whatever like that. I'm just trying to figure out why did it take so long. And like I said, if Nelly did, you know, uh, finesse them folks like that, man. His own peoples, that's foul. You know what I'm saying? That is foul. A lot of people are talking about Nelly and his lunatic uh, former band members. People say that they're just jealous of Nelly, honey. And I'm not, oh. I don't know if they're jealous or not, but it's being reported, y'all, that Nelly is being sued, honey, by his former St. Lunatic band members over unpaid royalties. Oh. Now, Billboard is reporting, Brad, that the St. Louis Tix filed a lawsuit against the St. Louis native over royalties from his debut studio album, Country Grammar. Now, they said Country Grammar spawned the hit single, Country Grammar. And they said, which peaked at number seven on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, y'all. Now, they said other songs off the album included I.E., Ride With Me, and Batter Up. Now, in the lawsuit filed Wednesday, y'all, they said that the group members say they wrote honey the lyrics to Country Grammar and songs that were never credited for including still in the show y'all thinky thick girl batter up honey and rap some them now the group alleged y'all that nelly born carnell haynes jr manipulated them y'all into believing that they would be compensated for their contribution to the album and they said they've been waiting y'all for proper compensation y'all for what 24 years isn't that amazing took that long but how do people i mean oh 
I don't understand. How does that royalty thing work and stuff? Don't you sign for your royalties and stuff? Like when you um, sign it off to the group or what have you? I mean, I mean when you write the song, um, there's a split sheet, something called a split sheet. And if you don't do that, then you can't expect to come back and get credit later. You should put your information down when it's time for the splits of who oh. wrote the song, who produced the song, and all of that. And if you did not do that, then you didn't handle your business. Oh, Lord, well, they didn't know that. Look like they should know. It's almost like um, residuals, I guess. I never forget from hearing the story about um, Good Times. Now, they were saying that, you know, when Good Times, you know, started the show and what have you, everybody, you know, was going to get residuals, J.J., Thelma, Michael, and all other people. But there, I remember hearing, I don't know if this is the truth, but I, I did hear it, that on the day when they were going to, I guess when the show was ending or what have you, um, Michael and J.J. was there um, for their residuals, and they signed up to get their residuals. And Thelma wasn't there. They're saying allegedly Thelma was sick or whatever, so she couldn't come to sign for her residuals and what have you. So now they're saying that Thelma is the only one still getting residuals from Good Times, where all the other ones allegedly not getting residuals. So it was good for her that she didn't show up that day or what have because now she can still get her check because Good Times play every weekend and every day. So I watch it every weekend. It's the same show. I wonder how much those watching. residuals are. I know. And they go down every year, don't they, Brad? Yeah, I mean, you would know from that show you had. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. Hey, so hey, 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 y'all know I'm sensitive. The... You know yeah, what well, you do not to be unsensitive today. I'm you sensitive up there. about that. I had two seasons of a, a successful TV show. And right. it was number one in Nigeria. So, so tell yeah. us what you get from the Nigeria. Uh, hey, from... that ain't what we're talking about. Uh, Gary, go the next show. I'm not yeah, going to sit with her. I know I ain't got no check yet, honey. So What, from your appearance? Yeah, yeah, from the whole season. So you know, residual didn't come, so I guess maybe I need to go see honey today if I get my extra dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that girl, honey, she ain't playing no more, honey. And Miss Candy, I guess she pulled the plug and they playing it out in Zimbabwe. Where the girl, let me give me this money. There he go. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> and she didn't pull, she didn't pull us off of TV one to put baby, us on Radio 1. Well, baby, she didn't pull us off. She said, honey, y'all going to be heard, not seen, honey. So you show sure not seen on the Ricky Smiley show.